Hello, Air Signs. It's Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is Brainy from Brainy's Tori and I Tarot. Hello. Welcome to your weekly mini read. Um, please make sure you comment, or that the smiley face, a thumbs up, whatever you feel you need to do to let YouTube know I exist. Okay? Let's jump into your reading. We're going to get a card for an overall here message. Theme 32. We have telepathy and divine sensuality. This is for anyone. It is a general, okay? So, uh, <laughs> I think you guys might be having like tele telepathic dreams with someone here uh, about some lovemaking. <laughs> you might be uh, receiving each other's energy in your sleep. Or when you guys think about each other, you're doing it at the same time. Someone's also needing to honor their sexuality. Stop trying to stuff it in a corner. Stop this. You might be an air water sign because I got in a water sign. Uh, someone hadn't been being very sexual. So anyways, this is nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, and mind reading. Energetic pulses and the divine sensuality, whether you are male or female, seems to be heavy here. Someone is needing to speak clearly to the divine and honor them so you can make this happen and stop being brick walls. No offense, Air Sign, I know too many. You guys talk a lot, but you don't listen sometimes, and I'm not trying to offend you. I have a lot of dear friends, but I do have to tell them often. Please stop talking so you can listen. <laughs> and maybe that's what you're needing to do. You're needing to tap into your own sexuality. Really pay attention to those dreams and those thoughts when you have them because someone else is having them too and you need to speak up. So, also, life, health, money, uh, relationships, everything is interlinked. If you're having a shit time at a job, so is your relationship. If your relationship shit, you're having a shit time at your job. You're not going to wait your own. Okay, everything is intertwined. So, when you dive into your sexual needs... Things get happier. Your body gets healthier, okay? If you've been feeling a little weak, your mind gets sharper. I'm sure you understand this. Sorry. Give me more for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Six of Cups. Um, nostalgic. Thinking about each other. Thinking about a person. Okay, this is blocks being removed for um, a better outcome in your business life. We have the two of wands, but it come out in reverse. You're not searching of where to put your energy. You may have already known where you need to put your energy. Okay, um, you're just being slow to take the action with the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Page of Earth, which is the Page of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Cups, with the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That is harsh words, not speaking clearly, um, being petty, saying hurtful things are not enough. Alright, so you already know who you want, where you want. You don't need to make the choice anymore. You, that's why it's in reverse. Or you're just not making a move. You gotta play that where you go. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Page of Pentacles is a student learning something new, wanting to go slow in that. Okay, there's slow, methodical effort here. Something being done well. Okay, maybe you just gotta do a business offer or a new job or a new idea. And you're really wanting to follow this through. And that's why you're not contacting this person right now. Because you have this to deal with first. We have the Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. The Two of Cups is also like a, a business contract. Um, a partnership. A friendship that's new. Um, lovers. Since we have the Six of Cups here. But they are swimming in opposite directions. It looks like everyone has a path they're trying to go on right now. Which is why things are not coming together. Because there's interferences. It's to do with money and jobs and location. 
because your partner is swimming the other way and so are you. Can't help but notice that. Alright, but your guys' eye is set on a prize that you want. You're just letting a lot of interferences come. You're not really listening to a message that's being brought to you because she is has a little fish in front of her, a horse fish in front of her. And she's like, why should I listen to you? Because you should. You should. You should never think you're above a small message. Maybe Spirit's been trying to reach you so you can really travel and lift those burdens um, of money and restrictions. Let's see here. Like I said, you gotta apply this where it is for you. Can I have advice, please, for my air signs? I've been rising. And Venus, please. So I have the Lady and the Emperor. She's almost like the Empress, but she's actually above the Empress, if you can imagine that. And then we have the Emperor. Okay. I'll read, I'll read you a little insert of the Lady, because she's not, not a normal one. But the Emperor is all about stabilizing your efforts and becoming more structured and being the husband. All right, being the boss, taking hold of your life, the lady. Okay, here she is, the feminine energy of it at its best. The lady represents the embodiment of all four elements, natured and well taken care of. Okay, you might get confused since this card strongly resembles the empress. However, it's not the case. She's ruled by the sun, led by the moon, nurtured by Venus, and most importantly, motivated by Saturn. Nurtured by Venus is sexuality. Okay, really need to get in touch with your sexuality so you can hear those messages. It's a very clear message for me. Okay, when you pull the card, it represents the urge for you to focus more on yourself. Take proper care of yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically. Alright, have you begun to neglect your appearance, your physical health? Have you begun to overthink and shifted towards extreme self-criticism without a legitimate reason? That's right. You're not putting any energy into any choice. You're not taking any physical action here. You're only thinking about what was. Um, you're focusing on some coins, but those cannot come to you without taking care of the whole. All right? It's cues for you to start paying attention to things that make you feel lack of your self-love and your self-worth. It might be time to read a book, make yourself a bubble bath, and even get a haircut. Whatever really makes you feel at ease. Sorry, I'm going to be dirty. You know, it's going to help fulfill you and get your body back into alignment. That is why the emperor came to. Alignment. Structured back. Healthy. Staying at the top of the mountain. Okay? Think you're a little too focused on things that you should not be focused on because you got to get yourself into alignment before everything else is in alignment which is good it's a good thing okay and just know that these two fishies won't part ways right long they will come back together peace out <laughs>